This video is sponsored by Change Checker, and they're giving away 10 sets of the UK's new dinosaur coins. All you have to do is find the golden plesiosaurus hidden somewhere in this video, and comment the timestamp to be in with the chance of winning. Good luck! You probably know the tongue twister, she sells seashells by the seashore, but you probably don't know who she is. Well, this is Mary Anning, the British fossil hunter who made several monumental discoveries, but went largely uncredited and forgotten during her lifetime. But now, over 170 years later, the UK has just released a set of three 50 pence coins honouring her life's work. So I thought I'd head down to the Jurassic Coast to tell her story, and hopefully find some fossils and cool coins of my own. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. This is Lyme Regis, the quaint British seaside town Mary Anning called home. She was born in 1799, one of ten children, although only two would survive to adulthood. And in fact, she almost didn't. When she was a baby, Anning was being looked after by a neighbour and two friends, when the tree they were standing under was struck by lightning. The three women tragically died, and it was a miracle that young Mary Anning survived. She spent her childhood combing the local beaches for fossils with her father, although at the time they called them curiosities. People had a rough idea that fossils were dead animals, but didn't realise they were extinct ones that lived millions of years ago. Still, Anning and her father would sell these curiosities to tourists for some extra money. And even today, these beaches are abundant with fossils, telling the tale of about 200 million years of evolutionary history, hence the name the Jurassic Coast. So I'm going to try and walk and talk at the same time, which is probably a bit dangerous and precarious on these rocks. But I was really worried we'd come here and not be able to find any, but we found hundreds. These fossils are called ammonites and were once sea creatures, similar to squid or cuttlefish, but with a shell. So this smooth part here is called the ammonite pavement because of how incredibly frequent they are. Ammonites are by far the most commonly found here, and also the title of an upcoming movie about Mary Anning. But then when Anning was eight, tragedy struck again as her father fell from one of the cliffs. The fall didn't immediately kill him, but he spent the last three years of his life weak and bedridden, until tuberculosis eventually did. The cliffs around Lyme Regis are treacherous, both from above and below, with frequent landslides and falling rocks. But it's precisely these landslides that reveal the fossils, and sometimes even bones. And it was one such landslide that provided Anning with her first major discovery, at just 12 years old. Her brother found what appeared to be a skull, but it was Anning who spent the next several months painstakingly chipping away at the rock to reveal the skeleton of a five metre long monster. At first, people thought it was a crocodile, but after years of study and debate, it was named an ichthyosaurus or fish lizard. But of course, being a woman at the time, Mary Anning got none of the credit for discovering the world's very first ichthyosaur. Rather, the men who presented her findings did. Women couldn't vote, hold office, attend university, or even take part in science at all. So it truly is wonderful to see her work honoured on a British coin above her name. There's also the creature's skull, what it would have looked like when it was alive, and the name of this specific ichthyosaur, a Temnodontosaurus. And then in 1823, Anning discovered the first complete skeleton of a plesiosaurus. This skeleton was considered so weird that many dismissed it as fake. A special meeting was held to discuss the find at the Geological Society of London, although as you can probably guess, Mary Anning wasn't invited. Eventually they conceded it was real, and today it's on display at London's Natural History Museum. Although the museum's currently closed, I was lucky enough to see it when I visited last year, and it's truly amazing. This is definitely my favourite of the three coins. Five years later, Anning made yet another significant discovery, this time of a strange winged creature. Again, news travelled quickly and it sparked the interest of the scientific world. The bones belong to a Dimorphodon, a type of pterosaur similar to a pterodactyl. By her 40s, Mary Anning was struggling to find anything new and exciting. There was still the usual multitude of ammonites and other common fossils, but few people were interested in buying these anymore after her famous and dramatic other discoveries. She died of breast cancer at age 47. The Geological Society of London pulled together to fund a stained glass window beside her grave, which to me seems like a poor attempt at redemption. Anning died uncredited and forgotten by the scientific community. Those who knew her locally attributed her remarkable skills to the lightning strike she survived as a child, like some kind of patronising superhero origin story. Obviously today we know that women are just as intelligent as men. And so it really is delightful to see her forever remembered on our currency. Her achievements are recognised today, and it's heartwarming to know that young boys and girls will grow up hearing her story and knowing her invaluable contributions to paleontology. Well, the fossil hunting has been a resounding success. 
and I just put my foot in water. But would I have the same luck finding interesting coins in my change? So no, 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 no. Oh, that's Benjamin Bunny. Using the Change Checker web app, I can enter the coin's year and denomination, and it will show me all the coins of that type released that particular year. So this coin portrays Benjamin Bunny, and although it's not exactly rare, it sure beats finding nothing. The Marianne coins are available from the Change Checker website linked in the description for only £4.50 per coin plus postage and packaging. For that price, the coin is in brand new, pristine, uncirculated condition, meaning it's nice and shiny and not all scratched up and dirty like some coins you might find in your change. Change Checker also sell coin albums to store your finds, plus have an incredibly useful YouTube channel of their own. Remember to comment the timestamp of the Golden Plesiosaurus for your chance to win one of 10 sets of Mary Anning coins.